If you're a big fan of Antarctica, and a big fan of big boats, well, you'll love this. This big boat is the research and supply vessel Noyena, and it's just reported for duty in Hobart. The RSV Noyena is Australia's brand new Antarctic icebreaker. That's a ship specifically designed to plough its way through sea ice. And it'll be the main way Aussies get to and from the icy continent. Noyena took more than five years to build, cost $500 million, is the length of five basketball courts and will be the most technologically advanced ship in the Southern Ocean. Even if I just break it down into the into the science function, it, I'd be on the on the TV for another, <laughs> you know, like 40, 50 minutes. That's Rob Bryson, one of the leaders of the Noyena project, and he says this ship is pretty impressive. It just has a, a raft of different kind of capabilities that we hadn't had before. Like 20 interchangeable laboratories, hydrophones that can listen to whales and seals, and a bunch of cameras and sensors to track things like fish or krill. But possibly the coolest feature is something called a moon pool. Ah, it's not what you think. It's pretty much a hole in the ship, that's supposed to be there, that acts like a doorway straight down into the ocean. So in the past we used to park the ship in the ice and then actually put people on the ice to go out and dig a hole and actually do the, t the testing that way. So now they can actually um, sit in their board shorts and actually do it from inside the comfort of the ship. Alright, enough about the science. Let's talk about the name. Noyena means Southern Lights in the Tasmanian Aboriginal language Palawakani. It was named by these guys back in 2017 after an Australia-wide competition. As part of their prize, they got to fly to Antarctica and actually became the youngest people to touch down on the icy continent as part of the Australian Antarctic program. It's a very once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and m not most people get it, so it's quite good. Noyena is taking over from this old hunk of metal, the Aurora Australis, which was lovingly nicknamed the Orange Ruffy. It was in service to the Australian Antarctic Division for 30 years, and last year it floated off to Dubai, where it is now waiting to be bought by a new owner. The journey to Tassie hasn't exactly been smooth sailing for Noyena. It was being built in Romania, but then had to be shifted to the Netherlands during COVID. Then, after its six-week voyage down to Tassie, engineers discovered an electrical fault in the ship. Oopsie. The Aussie Antarctic Division say they'll fix it quick smart, and Noyena will be good to go for the next 30 years. So, for all you budding Antarctic explorers watching this, you just might find yourself setting sail on Noyena sometime soon.